All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to look at uh, some film from the Ravens-Bears game. Um, during the game, I kept screaming and chanting and yelling and pleading, run to the left, run up the middle, because early in the game, they had success doing that. But for some reason, we kept running right with minimal gain or one-yard gain or a tackle for loss. Maybe it was to keep them honest. Maybe he saw something different than I did. But I'm going to you know, take a look at some runs to the left and up the middle and show you why I felt we should have kept running to the left and up the middle till they stopped it. Roll the intro. Alright, so I complained during the game and on my, my live stream a little while ago that run the ball to the left. You need the, the runs to be to the left. And and this is one of the reasons why, because early in the game we was doing stuff like this to the left, running splits, split outside zone to the left. You got a hat on a hat. You are moving people, change the line of scrimmage. You got six yards on the first down play. Five and a half, six yards on the first down play. So Ricard's gonna come and cut off anything off of his butt. Ricard's gonna cut off anything off his butt. So whether it be this guy or this guy. Ricard should cut it off. So just in case the running back wants to cut it back, he'll have an alley. Oh. Well, Nate off his butt. Off his butt. I guess that was a long ways to go. So it's just a long wham, so to speak, for Ricard. He coming, try to seal that dude off, he blocking out. So it really is a long wham, but we got extra blockers because you got a dude in the end, you got a tight end. So But you got a hat on you got a hat there. You got him trying to get up the second level. Again, you got him coming across, so either he should come across and either get 58 or 90, whichever one decides to close, penetrate that gap. Pause. So with that being said, 90 is going, 58 is trying to scrape. We got a hat on the hat. Uh, you can't miss that. Don't allow him to split. Roquan is one of the guys that has to be blocked. But look at the movement right here. Who is this? AV and who is this? That's AV and that's Powers. Look at the movement. Look at the movement on this dude. And Avante sets it up by pressing it. And he see it. His eyes, are, he see him. But they're doing a good job right there. He see him. And comes off. Great. That's perfect timing. Like I almost didn't think he was going to come off. Perfect timing. Feeling the wave was still winning. Got that outside hook. Uh, board and got somebody back here doing it out here blocking. So now you got one on one with 36. But all this is happening four yards down the field. It ain't happening at the line of scrimmage. Look at Devontae with the, with the cuts. It's right there. Should be tackled. He blocking. He blocking. One on one. Should be tackled. Get a cut back. Get a cut back. Well, still, he's got some left in his tank. I ain't say he got a lot left in the tank, but he still got some. And little stuff like that is the reason why he's still getting most of the reps. All right. The very next play. The very next play. Runs to the left. Bouncing. Banging for 10 yards. Banging for 10 yards. Very next play. Using Duvernay as a blocker. Not sure what the play is yet, but the play concept is yet. I see the old line. Um, I'm not sure myself on this one. I ain't even lie to you. I don't really know what this is. Because you got two splitters. So, not gonna lie to you on this one. I don't have all the answers. I don't know what this is. I just know Freeman got good vision on this. I don't even know what con what kind of run concept this is. Anybody in the chat box help me out? I'm I'm stumped on this one. Like I said, I don't claim to claim to know it all. 
the comment section, not chat box, because it's not live. I have no clue what this is. But Freeman with his, his vision to the left. To, to his vision. Let me go back to the old line play. I'm sorry. Because we had to have people blocked up for him to cut out like that. Uh, who's on the ground? Who is on their knees? Please stay off your knees on the football field, Ben Powers. This happens too much. It happens too much. But good down block by. Is that Boyle? Yup. I should have known. Boyle. Cut off Boyle, but Boyle's impact. Second play of the game. Devontae running. Look how he put this ball high and tight. I don't know if y'all can see it on y'all screen. But Roquan's right there. Roquan is the linebacker for the Bears. He put that ball high and tight and just hopped out, hops out of there. He hops out of there, gets away from him. Now I'm trying to get away from 36. Got some body lean. Get another four yards. Another four or five yards. That's why this dude still, you know, he getting all the reps. Stuff like that. Again, another successful run to the left. This time a toss. Five yards. Another successful run to the left. This is still early in the game. So why don't we continue to do this most of the game? I guess we're trying to keep them honest by going to the right. But you're getting a straight toss play. So which is technically outside... Outside zone for the O-line. Got leverage right here. All he needs to do, he don't see anybody coming his block, just turn back. Turn back and seal him off. Because um, he, right here, he whoever this is, is in a bad spot. He can't really do nothing. Uh, he should have just ended up helping with that guy. Because all he's going to be able to do is block in the back. Uh, we're getting a double right here. So one of them needs to come off to 57. Got a, a seal. Uh, he, I guess he's trying to seal whoever shows up. And so the play can get outside him. And he seals that linebacker. That free linebacker. So now we got we got an extra guy. So the Roquan didn't hit it. And Villanueva was waiting on him to hit it. We, we got it blocked up. And then got Ricard out there on the edge on somebody. Great block by, the, by um, Tomlinson. Great block by Tomlinson on 43. Watch Tomlinson. Tomlinson is right there. Watch him. Engaged, ran him out of there, finish him. And that's where that's where he hit it at. And then, again, another good run to the left early in the game. And I know I've been talking a lot about running to the left, but you know, I use the left and the middle. This is one of those runs up the middle. Again, early. Watch. It's like a a wham slash ISO. And you know, as much as we complain about Roman, this is look at the design of this. You're getting a wham and an iso. You're getting a wham by uh, Thomas. Huh? Then you're an iso on 57. Wham. Iso. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gap. Look at the, the play design. You're a wham and an iso on the same play. That's nuts. Wham on the nose. Iso on the play side backer. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. Now, uh, who is that? Powers did a crappy job on that linebacker. But still. Just another example of how successful we were running the ball to the left. So watch this. It's fourth and one. This is after the Duvernay screen that um, they called him short on. I don't know what it is what it is about that left side that we just this almost was a touchdown. You're getting power. You just they're running power. You're gonna get recall kick off the first thing that shows up off the tight end. You're getting uh Zeitler pulling around for a linebacker or whoever shows up. Um and then you quarterback running the power. There's your kick out by Ricard. Zeitler's pulling for that guard. And Snoop's going to see it and hit it right behind it. Boom. Now, if DuVernay blocks this guy and keeps him from getting in the play, uh, Hundley outruns 99 or 98, whoever that is. 
Because this, if this cat, if Duvernay gets hands on this cat and don't allow him to get in here, this is a long touchdown run because nobody else is left. And Huntley now can just pull away from 99. The fact that he had to stop, that's how, that you know, that allowed him to get tackled. So, great play by these guys up front and him. Crappy play by that guy. If you blocked this, it was a touchdown. That's why receivers need to block. All plays. All run plays, rather. Don't just be out there. Oh, that's Freeman. So they have Freeman at receiver. I didn't realize that. I thought it was doing that. I saw the three. That's Freeman. Didn't get a block. Again, we got another clip. And we talked about this the whole time. To the left and straight up the middle. To the left and straight up the middle. Nothing to the right. Watch this one straight up the middle. back it up so I can talk about it. You got this double team going right here. And one play earlier we had a a wham block with the ISO. This is just straight ISO. Straight ISO. You got double team there. Got a double team right here. The car is leading up on 58. And I think this is Murray just going to hit it straight downhill. Straight downhill. Straight up the middle. Got the ISO on rope one. Now they, the double team that came off. Perfect execution of a double team right here. 44 triggered, he passed it off. Hat on the hat. It's great. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Hat on the hat. Now, running back. Be a running back. Find the opening. Find one. Hit it downhill. Great job by Zeitler. Just look at Zeitler the whole time on this. Great job by Zeitler of finishing. Zeitler's part of that original double team. It's going to double team there. Then they're going to pass it off. And anytime you get a guard on a linebacker that's not like one of those superstar stud linebackers, you want to finish him. And we didn't quite finish him on the ground, but look at him drive him up out of there. Get him up out of there. You would love it at the end of the pancake. Even though it's a knockdown, you would love it at the end of the pancake. You know, I'm going to end this one on, on, on um, this run to the left right here. Let's see what we get. I think we're getting a stretch. All right. Looks like stretch. So, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking Ricard going there to try to kick him out because he can't really hook him because he's so wide. He's going to step there and then work work that combo right there. These two right here working this combo. Both of them going to step there. If he goes there, he should take him. If he goes there, he should take him. And then whichever one doesn't take this D lineman should work up to, the, to 58. Um, Bozeman should work on the outside shoulder of 91, seal him off. With him coming, and then both of them are gonna work off of 44. So if 44 tries to get over here, he needs to come off. If 44 tries to shoot that gap, he'll come off and seal him off. Then you got Villain the Waiver trying to cut off 98. That's what I think should happen. Oh, but it's not what happened. <laughs> Ricard's going backside. Ricard's going backside. Now I don't know which gap he's going to hit. In my mind, I'm thinking Ricard would come off the edge. But sometimes they block this dude out and let Ricard come right here in this gap. So let's see. So with that being said, it looks like because Alejandro is moving too, Ricard's going to come off the edge and cut off the end. So now the guy that I thought uh, Ricard was going to work to, I thought Ricard was going here, but now he's going backside. So this tackle got to get all the way out there. A tackle got to get all the way out there. He's got to get here. Uh, Bozeman's got to get to 58. Um, who is this? Powell's got to cut off 91. He got to. That's a tough block. He got to cut off 91. And Villanueva got to cut off 98. So there's really nobody for 44. 44 can get all the way over top of this and make the tackle. Really. So, so far, we're good. Running them wide. Got a block there. Double team kind of sort of working. Kind of cutting off 91. Villanueva did a good job of getting inside 98. Did a good job of it. 58 slows down. So now he's really in no man's land because he can't see the ball. 58 can't see the ball carrier, even though he's kind of out of position. But 58 can't see the ball carrier. 44 has a clear view, but if he bounces out, he good. If he cuts up in that 44, you know, kind of makes the tackle. And he's still, still probing. Look at the patience by 
Devontae. He ain't just hitting that gap. He's still probing, trying to find trying to find a spot. And really he's just trying to read this trio of blocks right here. Cause this this alley right here is a no go. That alley right here is really a no go because he got outside leverage. So he's trying to read this trio of blocks to see where to go. And now it, it develops a little more and it opens up. Even though 38 is right there to make the tackle. But it opens up. Because the whole time he was trying to fi fi figure that little trio out, they were moving yard, half yard down the field. So now they're right at right at four four yards almost, maybe even five. He gets to the fifth yard and falls forward for another two. Seven-yard game. Run to the left. It was working. Stick to what works. So that concludes our video for today. Uh, directional running, so to speak, uh, from the Ravens versus the Bears game on Sunday. I wish he would have ran more to the left. It seemed to me the left was more successful, even though late in the game we did have some successful runs right. Uh, the middle was fairly successful also, but you just saw everything in the ball those clips. Um, if you like what you see, uh, drop a like. Um, if you really want to be caught up on all the Ravens content, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when these videos drop randomly. I uh, appreciate you guys being here on this Wednesday. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I'll see you guys soon. Happy Thanksgiving.